in holes and tunnels that they dig underground. We call those tunnels burrows. <laughs> oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. What's up? Hey, Leo. I'm in South Australia right now, and you won't believe what I just found. It's a large burrow with mysterious tracks all around the entrance. And guess what? There are cube-shaped rocks stacked outside. <laughs> Yuck! And they're stinky. I wonder what animal lives inside. I'll send you guys a photo of the stinky cube-shaped rocks. Stinky cube-shaped rocks? That's weird. 
Kyle, we'll look for more information about this mysterious animal. In the meantime, be careful and don't go into the burrow. We don't know what could be inside. Roger that. I'll be right outside waiting. We'll get back to you soon. Ranger out. It seems the rock isn't a rock after all. It's poop, and it belongs to the wombat. Wombats are the only animals known to produce poop that's cube-shaped. Wombats are also one of the largest burrowing mammals in the world. So Kyle found a wombat's burrow. He wouldn't go in without us, would he? Hello? Is anybody in there? Are these cube-shaped rocks yours? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. That's not good. Hi, Leo. It's me again. Hi, Kyle. You're breaking up. Is everything all right? Yeah, uh, about that. We found more information about the animal you were looking for. It's a wombat. And the stinky rocks you saw are actually the wombat's poop. So I'm stuck in a wombat burrow? Cool. Stuck? What do you mean? Well... I was just waiting outside the burrow, but then I fell inside, by accident, and the entrance collapsed behind me. Oh, no! Are you okay, Kyle? I'm fine. It's just a little dark in here. But I have some snacks with me, so all's great. Good. Katie and I will be right over to get you out of there. Ranger, out. Oh, well. When in trouble, have some chocolate. It's so big! I wonder what animal lives in there. Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What were you doing in there? I was practicing my burrowing skills with these claws. What are you doing here? Junior Ranger Kyle is stuck in a burrow after finding some cube-shaped poop. But we're having trouble finding him. Cube-shaped poop? That has to be from a wombat. Wombats leave their cube-shaped droppings outside burrows to mark where they live so other animals stay away. When startled, they may dive back into it. Is everything all right? Not really. I ran out of chocolate. Are you here yet? Hey, what's the sound? <gasps> it's a baby wombat. Look, I found a new friend. Ah, uh, it's so cute. I'm glad you found a friend, Kyle. Hang in there. We're coming for you. Ranger out. There's no time to waste. Let's split up to look for him. Ranger Rocky, can you take that part of the forest? We'll take the other. Great idea, Leo. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Leo, it's a wombat. Could the burrow that Kyle is trapped in belong to that wombat? Let's follow it and find out. <gasps> it's a dingo! Hero, come back! No, Leo. We should be following the wombat instead. It might lead us to its burrow and Kyle. I'm sure Hero will be fine. He'll be able to handle the dingo. We have to save Kyle. You're right, Katie. Let's go. A wombat burrow. It's the exact same stack of poop. Kyle's hat. We are at the right burrow. Be careful, Katie. It might be the dingo. Ranger Rocky. Hero, you're all right. Hello, Junior Rangers. I saw Hero chasing a dingo away. Is everybody all right? Yes, we are. Is this the burrow Kyle is trapped in? Yes, it is. Well then, what are we waiting for? I'm glad I practiced my burrowing skills. Let's help them too, Katie. They're here! You see that, baby wombat? My friends are here to save me! Hero found something. Pants? Thanks for coming to get me, guys. Can I have my pants back? 
Hero tried to pull me out, but he pulled my pants off instead. It was nice meeting you today, baby Wombat. Thanks for letting me stay in your home for a while. And thank you for getting me out of there, guys. Oh, I wish I could offer you some chocolate, but I'm all out of it. <laughs> <laughs> We are here. Wow! Where does this river lead to, Jane? Hmm, I am not sure. Huh? Guys, look! A pink lizard! But lizards aren't pink. Do you think it's sick? What if it has a fever? Let's not jump to conclusions, Leo. <laughs> You're right. Smile! I've sent you its photo, Katie. Can you find out more about it? I'm already on it. Oh, it's not your average lizard. It's a panther chameleon. Panther chameleons can change the color of their skin. They can blend in with their surroundings to camouflage themselves. The chameleons mostly change colors to reflect their mood, communicate with other chameleons, and to warm up or cool down. Oh, so it isn't sick after all. It just changed its color to pink. Yep, panther chameleons prefer to live on their own and can get aggressive towards other chameleons invading their home. Males will become more vibrant in color when competing with other males. Hey, it's another chameleon. Uh-oh. <gasps> They both want the same tree. But there are plenty of trees around. What if we host a friendly competition for them? Whoever wins gets the tree fair and square. No fighting. Round one. The chameleon that changes the most colors in one minute wins. May the best chameleon win. Two, one. Time's up. And the winner of round one is the pink, no, red chameleon. Yay! <sighs> it's all right. We'll win the next round. But what's next? Let's see. According to my research, chameleons have eyes that can move in two directions at the same time. Hmm, fascinating. They also have very sticky tongues. Their tongues can be twice as long as their bodies when stretched out to catch insects. Cool! That gives me a tongue-tastic idea. The first chameleon who catches the spider with its long sticky tongue wins. Three, two, one, go! Come and get it! Over there! Whoa! It's right there! Almost! So close! Yes! Now! Oops! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! They're fighting again! Uh-oh! <laughs> Everyone to Platypus 1! Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus 1! Oh, no! Let's split off. Katie and Hero, you guys go after the red chameleon. Jane, Zumi, and I will follow the blue one. Got it! Jetpack, activate! We got this. We're coming for you! Just a little closer. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky? What? And what are you guys up to? We're trying to rescue a panther chameleon that fell into the water. Oh dear, they're not known to be strong swimmers. Yes, panther chameleons are great grabbers. They have large toes on their hands and feet, as well as a prehensile tail that helps them cling onto branches. I trust you Rangers to rescue the chameleon. See you around. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Words. The red chameleon has to be here somewhere. Do you see it, Hero? Wait for me, Hero! Strange. We followed the river all the way downstream, 
But where's the blue chameleon? Leo, do you think it might have drowned? Don't worry. I'm sure it's all right. We'll find it. I know we will. Oh, good job, hero. There you are. You're safe now. There's some driftwood up ahead. Let's see if it's there. Hey, guys. Look who we found. Welcome back. Did you find the blue communion? Nope. But it has to be here somewhere. Let's just continue to look. Got it, Leo. I found it! Oh, false alarm. It's all right. Keep at it, Rangers. Huh? What's wrong? Are you trying to tell me something? <gasps> it's over here! The red chameleon found its buddy! Oh, yeah, I see it. You know, chameleons turn a darker shade when they're stressed out. Aww. There you go. Home sweet home. They're friends now. No more fighting. Hit subscribe and click the like icon.